trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv It's Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got a great interview coming up shortly. But as always, don't forget about that subscribe button and bell below, down there below you if uh, you haven't already. And uh, you're always going to be notified of any new episodes coming your way. And uh, leave a comment on the comment section if you like. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you pay attention to the description part of this interview, you'll see contact info. And if you wait until the closing credits at the end of this episode, contact info will be repeated there. So uh, we hope to hear from you there. From Lafayette, Indiana today, we have Michael Sparger. He's another great artist. I think you're really going to love him. And uh, we're going to get to that in a second. But as always, we have a quick word from the Kane Gordon Show and TLC Travel Agency. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. The Caden Gordon Show. Today's best country mix is a two-hour show playing independent and mainstream country music you know and love. Be sure to check it out at thecanegordonshow.com for more information on the show. Ever thought about owning your own business? Tanya Lapsley Cockett did. She decided a little over five years ago that she was going to be an entrepreneur, so she started her travel business. Tanya is married and works a full-time job. Her business has given her amazing opportunities. Not only does she get to help people create memories by booking their vacations, sporting and entertainment tickets, rental cars, etc., but it has also allowed her to help other families create legacy income. The travel industry is extremely lucrative and is an $8 trillion industry. The travel industry is projected to earn in excess of $15 trillion over the next 10 years. The travel industry pays its professionals up to 70 to 80% commission on the travel that they book for themselves and their clients. As a travel business owner, Tanya books travel and teaches others how to own and operate their own travel business. She is a director in training on the marketing side of her business where she has helped over 90 families start their own businesses. If you're interested in owning your own travel business, please contact Tanya at 917-743-1199 or at ladytlc3555 at me.com. Okay, we're back, and with us from Lafayette, Indiana, we have Michael Sparger with us today. Thanks for joining us, Michael. How you guys doing? Oh, uh, doing pretty good. I'm glad you could make it today. Um, well, the question I was asked around here is everybody has their different backgrounds as far as when they start in the music business. So have you always wanted to be an artist since you were little, or did it fall uh, much later in life? I mean, tell us in their own, own words. We'd love to hear it. Well... I grew up in a musical family. My mother's side, they were they were all just so talented. Uh, it all started with my grandpa. He was a um, he was a good singer songwriter, and uh, we would all sit outside and watch him play guitar and play the harmonica. And uh, all us kids were just amazed. And all his sons, all my uncles, they were they were talented. They were all musicians. Um, so I had a musical upbringing and my mother, she was a, she was a great singer. Um, she taught me a few chords on a, on the guitar. And, uh, I think I was probably five or six years old and, uh, I picked, I picked her up. I've been doing it ever since. And music's always been there for me. Well, I, I can understand that. Uh, you know, that's, uh, it's great that you had, uh, you know, you decided early on in life that music was for you, and I hope you had many years ahead of you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, well, what were some of the influences that you grew up with that helped influence you to be the artist you are today? I mean, I'm sure some of the legends come to mind. Um, you know, I have a big background of music. I, I like everything from Van Morrison, uh, Tom Petty, but uh, my love is uh, Myrtle Haggard, mm -hmm. uh, Waylon Jennings, uh, Johnny Cash, 
George Jones, uh, Vern Gosden, uh, Don Williams. I could, I could keep going. There's wow. uh, I really like the old the old country. It it has a lot of heart and meaning to it. Yeah, exactly. Like Merle Haggard, George, George Jones, some of those you mentioned. I mean, uh, I mentioned a man to go the word uh, legends, and uh, they definitely come to mind. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you, you can't go wrong with those people. No, you can't. Um, well, tell everybody how they can find you. I mean, I'm sure you're on all streaming media, but do you have an official website? Are you on all social media? I mean, tell everybody about that. I'm on, uh, I'm on Facebook. Um, I got a music page on there, and then I got a personal page. Um, where all my tour dates and where I'm going to be on the weekends are. Um, I've also, I'm also on Spotify. It's all my original music. Um, I just released an album here. It's probably been three months ago. Um, it's called uh, What I Believe is Right. And you can find that album. All the songs are on YouTube. Um, I Heart Radio. Uh, just look up my name there. I don't think there's any charge for that. I'm not... I'm not benefiting from, and I'm not seeing any money, so I don't, I don't think they uh, charge for that. So you can get on there and you can download and listen to my music for free. Okay, well, everybody, do that. Go to those places he just mentioned, get his music. I know, I know, you want to show him some love, and he'll love you right back. And um, uh, we're gonna watch this music video in just a moment. It's called uh, "A Different Man Today," I do believe is the title of it. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about that song. I'm sure it's self-explanatory, but I'm sure there's a story behind it. <laughs> um, I was kind of a little hellraiser growing up for my mother. Um, and, uh, you know, she, she would always try to teach me right and tell me, you know, teach me right from wrong. Uh, and I kind of talked about, I went off to the army to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of avoid taking my mom and dad's, uh, suggestions you know they would tell me right from wrong and you know i thought it, i thought i knew it all by 16 mm -hmm. and uh it took uh it took me going away to the army and uh volunteering for my country to uh, to finally grow up a little bit and uh that's where that comes in i'm a, i'm a different man today it kind of speaks about my childhood and it speaks uh about my time in the military mm. okay well, it is a great song. I've heard it a couple of times, and uh, I, I think you out there are really going to love it, too. And um, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But, uh, Michael, we want to thank you so much for being on the show today. We'd love to have you back again sometime if you got anything new to plug for us. Well, I, I really appreciate it. I, I jumped at the opportunity. I've heard great things about you, sir. Well, I, I appreciate that. You made my day. <laughs> well, thank you. You made mine, too. Okay. All right. Well, here it is A Different Man Today by Michael Sparger, and it begins right now. I wasn't wild as a bandit, just out of those gates. Mama did her best, changed my ear. Signed up for the army, had to get the hell away That was back then, I'm a different man today Well, a man down south put a rifle in my hand Son, it's time to be a man Well, you learn real quick That freedom isn't something to give away That was back then I'm a different man today
their prey On the wings of a tornado They carried us away I couldn't wait for them to send me into harm's way That was back then I'm a different 